internet friends, welcome to another episode of the Synergy Cafe online show featuring speaker, entertainer, close-up illusionist, and marketing alchemist, Magic Brad. It's the internet lifestyle show about career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. We're moving the online chatter over to real life activity. And now, please welcome your host of Synergy Cafe, Magic Brad. Hey, Internet friends, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative, and I've got a new guest online. We had a little challenges moving things around, but we are on now, but that's the Internet, that's the internet for us. So her name is Kristen Kane. Are you there, Kristen? I am. Is it, Hi, Kristen, is it Kristen or Christine? It's Christina. Christina. Okay. <laughs> I, I knew another Christine Kane when I lived in Asheville, North Carolina. There was a Christine Kane there. So it's Christina. Like it. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Now you're over, confused. you're over on the East coast, right? I am Boston mass to be exact. Oh, that's right. Boston. And you don't have that accent, that Boston accent. <laughs> no, nope, not unless I go really fast. <laughs> so, how about a family? You got? Do you married? You got kids? Or are you single? Or what's your yeah, story? So, I am single. Um, really, really super busy traveling all the time, and um, I do have a son who's nineteen, getting ready to head into the National Guard. So, um, okay, we're, we're super busy. Well, that's what it takes. My wife, she's got a kid that's, uh, I think he's 22 now and the same kind of stuff, you know, going to college and everything. And there's always something going on, keeps us all busy. So yeah, I love that. what is it that keeps you busy? What is your occupation? So what is it? <laughs> no, we do a lot of different things, Brad, from... Um, so I'm an author, I'm a speaker. We also are international evangelists. We travel all abroad. Um, and also along the East Coast, you know, how I'm um, doing outreach ministry, mm -hmm. just a lot of, we have our hands in a lot of different, um, I guess you could say pots and, um, but it's all geared towards media. Got it. How, how long have you been doing that? So we've been doing it. I personally have been doing it since 2003, but then my family is very much involved now. So we have an, a, an amazing ministry in which we've been going at this full time collectively since 2010. That that can be um, fulfilling because I used to travel. I used to I got a background in magical entertainment, and I used to do an opening act for a Christian evangelist magician. He used to go around and oh, wow. and spread the word via doing a magic and illusion show, and I used to open for him and drive his truck. <laughs> and it was his family. It was his two daughters and his wife, and they were all in the whole act and all that kind of stuff. It was pretty cool. Oh, that's pretty neat. So, so you're not doing that anymore? No magic? Um, I, I'm still performing here and there, but um, he now lives in Ecuador, I think it is, so I'm not uh, doing his thing. But I still gig once in a while, absolutely. <laughs> it's not All a... right, so you have your hands in several pots as well. Well, it used to be my full-time thing, and uh, this is more about you, but I'll just share a little bit. I started doing magic when I was a little kid. I got a job, and I got laid off. I didn't like that idea of not being in control, so I started my own deal being a magician, and then I uh, started producing this trade show for event planners so I could find all the event planners, and then that got me into event management, and I started producing expos and stuff. It got stressful, and I decided to get out of that, and now I'm doing internet marketing. <laughs> that is amazing. Awesome progression. So when you do your work, do you, do you kind of like um, organize the events yourself, or do you go speak at other events that are already organized? Pretty amazing. We just recently decided to start, um, along with our ministry, a PR, um, a public relations firm attached to ministry. You have so many authors, you have so many pastors, um, you know, speakers, musicians, gospel singers who don't really know how to properly use, utilize social media. Mm -hmm. So what we did was, you know, we decided to put together a small firm, myself and my sister. So it's called Kane and Kane PR. And we've been doing it for ourselves for so long. We've also um, have reached out on behalf of pastors. So to book speaking engagements, um, to, you know, to kind of like widen their platform through radio, television. So that's kind of another area of our ministry that we've established just as of two weeks ago in which we're, and we have a couple of clients that we're working on actually, you know, broadening their message and utilizing social media, podcasts, blogging, what have you. That's pretty cool. I know that uh, we do that kind of thing in the, just the 
secular entertainment world. So you sort of paved the road for people so that you can they can kind of travel over the road that you've already paved for them. And I'm assuming that sometimes there's uh, churches and organizations that have already seen Christina, so they want something new, and you can kind of let them take the tour, and then you can pick it up the year after that kind of thing, right? Absolutely. Cool. And what's so amazing is, you know, even using, as you know, social media, the, the platform, um, whether it's Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, what have you, um, just seeing the television interviews that we're now, you know, that we're getting ready to launch on. I mean, we're, in fact, I'm flying out tomorrow morning to appear to um, appear on Real Life, which is a Christian program. But I mean, once they see those advertisements even going out, um, those flyers, I mean, that just adds credibility to our brand. You know, yep. apparently we know how to book. We, we're, we're making things happen. And so, you know, it it provides some like trust um, that, you know, we can get the job done for them and expanding their reach, which everybody wants to do. I think it's also cool that you're, you know, the social media realm and other people might have a passion for say Christian music, or they might uh, have some other ministry, but they don't know how to do the marketing part. You can do that for them so they can do what their passion is and stay in alignment with that. Yes. Oh my goodness. You, okay. You nailed it. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. Well, I run into that same kind of thing like you find artists or musicians and they don't know about anything about marketing. They just know the, what they love to do and that's what they want to do. And uh, they don't they, they try and do it themselves, but they usually screw it up. <laughs> and they're better off just outsourcing to someone that's that knows it. No, and very true. I mean, and that's that's kind of what we're, I mean, so we do so many different things, um, but definitely utilize media to get the gospel out there. In fact, um, I was just recently on a magazine, I don't know if you can see this, sure. Today's Purpose Woman. And it's it's amazing that social media really, truly is a key to, uh, to get you into a particular door that will widen your ministry, your book, whatever, whatever it is. I mean, having a product is so important. My book, You Can Hear God, literally opened the door to so many different platforms, I would never have had the opportunity. So that book was more of a key. That exactly. So many platforms. It was amazing. Yeah, a lot so of people say that the that product is important. Oftentimes, people say the book is your business card. Sort of gets your. Oh my goodness! Foot well said. Yeah. Absolutely the truth. Without that book, I would never have had the opportunities that have been presented. So I think I've mentioned before, I don't like to do these too long, these initial ones, because people have jobs and they've got lives and things they get around to. So I just wanted to do these so that people know who you are and what you're about. But before I ask my favorite question, and that's the big why question, could you share with us how we get a hold of you, your website, things of that sort, and how, how do people uh, contact you? Absolutely. So um, you, they can definitely check out our website, theofficialcanes.com. And that's the official Kane, C A I N S dot com. And everything that you need to learn about us on, on, on the website is there. We also have some media that you can watch. Um, and also on our Facebook page, um, which is the Kane Sisters. And on Twitter, that would be um, the Christina Kane. So T H E C R I S C A I N. Definitely feel free to connect with us. We would be honored. Okay, it's hard for people to remember all that stuff, so I'll be putting those links in the, the videos and things when I embed them and blog them out to the world and all that kind of stuff. So here's my favorite question. My favorite question is a big why question. Why is it you're doing this? Why haven't you like opened up your own restaurant, or why aren't you a ski instructor, or why aren't you like uh, teaching people how to act in Hollywood or something like that? It's so amazing. I had a stint in Hollywood back in the day acting. Oh, You're okay. Um, no, you know what? <laughs> no, you know what? I had an amazing thing happen to me, a God encounter. We're talking supernatural. And it forever changed the course of my life at 27 years old. The most amazing thing. I could literally hear the voice of God. And um, he began to just tell me a bunch of amazing things. And he told me what the end would look like. He didn't say what the middle looked like. That's He's funny like that. But he showed me the end result and literally everything is lining up for, for you know, for what he shared. So I'm excited. Well, yeah. Very cool. Oh, we get some some exit music. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> no, that was good. I, I like to do these things authentically and genuine because, uh, you know, some of these people, they take it and they cut out and edit things and put in the, the green screen background and all that. I like to be authentic, real, genuine, truthful, and honest and sincere. And then stuff like that happens. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank gosh, Brad. I just love it. You're so down to earth. No, and, and I think people can appreciate just the rawness 
of it. Yeah. That's the that's the way it's getting to be. So I'm going to sign this off, and then I'm going to beam it up to the universe, like my wife says. I'm going to beam that bad boy up. So I'm going to get that done. I appreciate you, Christina, for taking the time to be on Synergy Cafe, and I'm going to sign this one off. Thank you very much. Oh, Brad, you're awesome. You rock. Thanks, guys. Take care. Peace. Thank you.